Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you are connecting from. Welcome to another Dotty Live Show. We have a lot to show you today and some pretty amazing guests. But first, let's talk about some great highlights from the previous show. We had our survival expert and chief ambassador of World Scouting. Do you know who am I talking about? Yeah, that's right, Bear Grylls. And he answered a lot of questions from young people like you. We also had a special guest who is the UN Special Representative on Violence Against Children. That's Najat Majid. Ana Karin Ramirez also joined. She's the founder of Epic Queen, an organization whose objective is to teach young women programming and sciences to close the gender educational gap. And of course, we can never forget all the talented young people from all parts of the world that performed in our Youth Got Talent stage. A round of applause for all of them. Of course, it was an amazing, amazing show. We definitely recommend you to rewatch our last Jody live show with our friends, Noor and Edgar. So, Greta, let's start our show with the happy news of the day. From Italy to Lebanon, from Algeria to Singapore, scouts are supporting their communities in preventing this pandemic. And we have excellent news for you. Did you hear that World Scouting just launched a fund where you can be part of a global youth response against COVID-19? You can help this fund grow by donating and you'll enable scouts to continue giving their communities the help they need during this pandemic. You can support this fund now by visiting our scout donation platform. Check out donate.scout Dot org. That's donate.scout.org. And do you know how much we've raised so far? That's $10,435. Isn't that amazing? Wow, really amazing. But the happy news doesn't end here. We have seen how much you all like being challenged. And the epic blank challenge has been just amazing. So, Gretchen, now that you mentioned challenges, I was just remembering that earlier in the show, Noor and Edgar challenged us, right? Hi, how can I forget that? Of course, the change of gratitude challenge. Let's create a ripple effect of gratitude across the world. Share your words of support to all of those critical people and services in our communities during this difficult time. With the hashtag COVID-19, you can thank healthcare workers, cashiers, security people, drivers, yeah, just post a photo on Twitter or Instagram, making a heart shape with your hands, along with some words of support, reminding workers that we appreciate their service. Use the hashtag chain of gratitude to be featured on our wall. We really, really want to see all the gratitude by the end of the show. So ready for those cards? Without waiting any longer, let's start with the performances of the Youth God Talent stage. To surprise us, Mary from Kenya, she will sing Turning Tables for Us. Let's check her talent through her beautiful voice. Can we go to fourth? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. My name is Surprise Mary Ngoha, a scout, a rover scout from Kenya. And I will be singing Adele's Turning Tables. I hope you enjoy. Close enough to start a war All that I have is on the floor God only knows what we're fighting for All that I say, you always say more I can't keep up with your time tables under your thumb I can't breathe so I won't let you close enough to hurt me no I won't rescue you to just desert me I can't give you what you think you gave me it's time to say goodbye 
to turning tables to turning tables to turning tables that's a beautiful song. Thank you, Mary. Welcome back to Gresha and Mai's Epic Blanket Tents, coming to you live. Uh, the next show, we have Juliana, who's from Argentina, and she's a poet. Let's hear her poem. Buenas, mi nombre es Juliana Bochi, tengo 22 años y soy de Argentina. Vengo a compartirles un poema que se llama Metronomía y lo he escrito yo. Cuando tenía siete años me enseñaron cómo funciona el tiempo. El tiempo funciona en cuatro tiempos. El tiempo funciona en cuatro tiempos. Nunca te salgas de los cuatro tiempos. Si la palabra es más larga, usa semicorchea. Muy crítica, sé más específica. Sí, te sale, del margen te margina. Métrica española, sílaba tónica, escala de tónica, memoria sistemática, lógico, matemática, sistemas binarios. Solo existen dos géneros, las notas y el silencio, pero se extinguen si se rozan. ¿Lo nota? ¿Quién lleva la cuenta? ¿Quién dirige la orquesta? ¿Quién elige la frecuencia? Cuidado, no es claro que oscurezca. Facultad, filosofía y letras, me marié. Academia, educación o competencia, ABC de la obediencia. Comunidad científica, teorías conspirativas aceptadas, física clásica materialista, discurso occidental eurocentrista, cosificación, cuerpos robóticos, doctores, mecánicos y más, materia mejor. Quiero ser siempre mejor que vos. Irreductibilidad de la razón. No levantes la voz que pierdo el tiempo, me pintan los dedos de negro, las marcas me marcan, la prensa dilata. Para salir de esta regla aprendí esta técnica. Disociación, discernimiento, si respiro, tiene sentido. Epistemología, antescontología, neuronas, espejo, borrosidad, nexo simbiótico, pensamiento cuántico, ultra utópico, nunca antibiótico, cuento sintópico, interconexión, intersubjetividad, intersexualidad, comedia musical, puedo pensar y contar al mismo tiempo, solo hacer, solo hacer, solo hacer. El poema se me fue al carajo, la mitad la estoy improvisando, verso libre. Cuando salí, enter, de aquella oscura habitación, enter, comprendí, enter, que jamás, enter, podría volver a usar, enter, la palabra, enter, crepúsculo, enter, en mis poemas, enter. Gracias. That was super cool. Now Nane is from Armenia and today she will play her guitar and sing Talented Young People. Hello, I'm Nane, I'm 14 years old and I'm from Armenia. Today I'm going to sing Into Deep by Why Don't We. Hope you'll enjoy it. I used to be scared of the ocean Cause I didn't know how to swim I took one sip of your potion But now I'm just diving right in I heard your sirens call It was beautiful I am Thank you. 
Oh, so peaceful. Next, we have Jovan, who teaches us how to make face masks. Hi friends, I'm Jovan, a scout from India. Today I'm going to make a mask for the protection of coronavirus. Take a piece of cloth and fold like this. What a good way to stay safe. Now, Nicolas, he's 17, he's from Bolivia, and his talent is to play classic guitar. Let's watch. <laughs> good morning, Nicolas, 17, from Bolivia, and we are playing a small song on guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
All that music has got me hungry again. Good thing Anna really likes baking, and she's gonna show us some of her cooking tricks. Hello, I'm Anna, and I'm a scout leader from Armenia. I really like baking and cooking, and today I'm gonna bake you scout royal icing cookie. Wow, she did super detailed floor de lis. Willie, uh, I want to read messages from people to see if they're liking the show. Can you hand me my phone, please? Yeah, let me see where it is. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, thank you. Our next guest is Timothy and Ivan. They will play a song by Francis Gabriel. Que je patiente dans cette chambre noire pendant qu'on s'amuse et qu'on chante au noir. Quelqu'un a touché le verrou, et j'ai plongé vers le grand jour. J'ai vu les fanfares, les barrières et les gens. Seulement se défendre, mais cette place est sans issue. Je commence à comprendre. Je referme et derrière moi, ils ont eu peur que je recule. Je vais bien finir par la voir, cette danseuse ridicule. Je vais l'attraper lui et son chapeau le verre 
tourner comme un soleil Ce soir la femme du torréron dormira sur ses deux oreilles Est-ce que ce monde est sérieux Avec leur costume de mort yeah. Et j'ai jamais appris à me battre Contre des poupées La tête, c'est fou comme ça peut faire du bien. J'ai prié pour que tout s'arrête. Oh, je me souviens. Je les entends rire comme je râle. Je les entends parler quand je succombe. Je ne savais pas qu'on pouvait autant s'amuser. Est-ce que ce monde est sérieux? That was awesome. Next, we have Luisa from Brazil, who plays the beginning of Ladybug. Oi, meu nome é Luisa, eu tenho 9 anos. Eu sou do grupo Escoteiro 82, mas deixar o Castelo Branco. E eu sou do país Brasil. Eu vou fazer no piano. É... A música Ladybug, o começo. Pronto, foi o começo. That was pretty cool. Now, Rindale, he says that his natural gift is dancing. Let's join him. He's from the Philippines. Hello, Scouts. Good morning. My name is Scout Dave Flores Paul J. Santos. I'm the former regional scout representative to the National Executive Board of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines Organization. I'm 18 years old. As of this moment, I will showcase my talent to all of you. I had a natural gift in dancing due to my father and mother's influence. Let this youth get talent be a source of intellectual enjoyment amidst coronavirus disease or COVID-19. You be all in your feelings. In them trenches No, they notice me flexing Let it 
Epic. Now we're all living in a whole new world. Next, we have Harriet from Kenya, and she will sing and interpret the music from Aladdin's Whole New World, a famous song amongst all of our young people. Hi, my name is Harriet Nimbura. I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Kenya. I'll be singing for you today a song called A Whole New World. It's from the movie Aladdin, and I hope you enjoy. I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when do you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes Take you wonder by wonder Over sideways and under On a magic carpet right A whole new world A new fantastic point of view No one to tell us no Or where to go Oh tell us that we're dreaming A whole new world It's crystal clear that I can spend this whole new world with you. Unbelievable sights, indescribable feeling, tumbling, soaring, freewheeling on this endless deep blue sky. A whole new Super, super cute. Now, Serena Maria has composed a scout song for us. She's going to share her talents on songwriting, singing, and playing the piano with us. So let's hear from her. Good morning. Uh, I am Serena Maria Schweider. I am 13, I am Lebanese. Today I'll be singing a scout song which I've created. Hope you enjoy. It is put here, okay.
Wonderful. Now, Lord's from Argentina loves to paint and draw. Lourdes, tengo 18 años y soy robot del grupo Fray Luis Beltrán del Distrito 3, Zona 5 de Argentina. Y soy estudiante de Bellas Artes, así que lo que más me gusta hacer es pintar. Y ahora les voy a mostrar cómo hice este cuadro. These performances were just amazing. I really feel like I want to sing, cook, and paint more. Willie, do you know what else I would like to learn about? What? The United Nations volunteers. You know, you and I are volunteers from the World Scouting, and it could be interesting to know more about other kinds of volunteers, for example, the ones from the United Nations. Yeah, Gresha, I'm glad you mentioned that, because we just so happened to have a message from Olivia Adam the United Nations Volunteers Executive Coordinator. Cool. A big hello to all the scouts around the world. My name is Olivia Adam, and I'm the Executive Coordinator of the United Nations Volunteers Program. I'm very happy to join you today as you connect online in this virtual Jamboree edition. With COVID-19, social distancing has become a necessity for all of us around the world. I am delighted to see that you are finding innovative ways to bring the scouting movement together during these trying times. At UNV, the volunteering arm of the United Nations, we mobilize women and men, many of them youth, to participate in peace and development efforts as UN volunteers. Every year, we deploy over 8,000 volunteers to 146 countries to serve the United Nations family, while another 17,000 are volunteering online to advance the Global 2030 Agenda and support the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, which you all know so well. Volunteering allows all citizens to engage as agents of change. And this has a ripple effect as volunteers motivate others 
to also volunteer and participate in changing their communities and often society at large through their actions, through your actions as scouts. As scouts, you are the world's largest movement of youth volunteers and you are a role model for your peers and generations to come. The crisis our world is facing with COVID-19 is placing significant strains on communities globally and on each one of us individually. In the face of adversity, volunteers are and have always been at the front line of the response. Young people like yourselves today face great challenges due to this outbreak, which is affecting all local communities everywhere. But this crisis should not put a stop to your energy, creativity and motivation to learn, grow and engage in meaningful ways to change the world for the better. As you are showing through this online event today, there are no limits to your ability to contribute and rise above testing times. After the Jamboree, when you are energized by the exchanges and inspiration of this event, I encourage you to visit our site, onlinevolunteering.org, and find out about opportunities to engage as online volunteers. You can find assignments that match your interests and skills, supporting the United Nations from the comfort and security of your own homes. After you graduate, you may also want to put your formal learning, but also your experience as scouts to the UN system and volunteer for the UN family. We always must look to turn challenges into opportunities and look for alternative ways to engage, learn and build connection during these difficult times. Let this January edition be one of these opportunities. Find ways to connect, build friendships and have fun. Thank you. Wow, so inspiring. Thank you so much, Olivier. I think this Jamboree and Jodi is definitely a great example of a way that we're learning and connecting and energizing and inspiring each other, even, even in this uh, whole new world that we have. So I, I believe it's now time to see more talents around here. James, Ashton, and Ashlyn from South Africa are going to teach us how to rig a slack line. Hello, I'm James and I'm an ATS at the First Blagari Scout Troop in Johannesburg, South Africa. This is a contribution from Scout South Africa and hence I'm wearing the green and gold colors of the South African scarf. Um, the activity that we've put together for the Joti event is a slack line and I'll show you through the process of how we built it and how to use it. And I'll now introduce you to our two scouts. Hi, my name is Ashton Bays. I'm from Westbury, Johannesburg, and I'm wearing a first Blakawi scarf. Hi, my name is Ashton Bays. I'm from Westbury, Johannesburg, and you can see I'm wearing a first Blakawi scarf.
So by positioning your thumb on the line and bringing up one of your legs as close as you can up towards yourself and that moves your center of gravity right up underneath your bum. And slowly while balancing, bringing your second leg up just in front of your first leg. And then with one swift movement, moving from the back, standing up. Cool, so another method to get up, which is slightly easier, is using one of your legs as a support and then stepping straight off the ground. So once you've got some balance on the line, you can use your arms to counteract the, the wobble and by keeping your knees bent and your core tight, you can slowly make your way along the strap. It often helps keeping focus on one point in the distance that's stable, something that's not moving, as a, a reference point. Um, or if you whistle, keeping your mind concentrating on the strap sometimes helps. Once you get to the end of the line, another trick is being able to turn around, which is a little bit more tricky, but with a lot of practice you can, you can get it right. Cool, thanks guys for watching, and I hope you're inspired to make your own slackline at home. I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the videos on Jota Special Edition 2020. Wow, that was super interesting. Hey Willie, I have a small present to you. Would you like to have a badge? Oh, of course. Huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Our next guest is Susan. She's from Netherlands and she will play her guitar for us. Hi, I'm Susan from the Netherlands and I'm 15 years old. Today I'm going to play Hurts to be Human. So we've heard a lot of languages on this show, but we haven't heard all of them together. Uh, Karim and Nadia are singing a song to us in five different languages, French, Arabic, English, German, and Italian. Ooh. Oh. 
Hi everyone, I'm Karim. I am Nadia. And our scout friend Zainab will be singing with us from her phone. We're scouting from home from Menzel Tamim in Tunisia and we'll be singing a song in Arabic, English, French, German and Italian. Let's get started. <laughs> is from Italy. She is 13 years old and she will show us how to cook Nutellotti. in cucina con Letizia. Io sono Letizia e vengo da Messina 4 e per la mia cucina di fuoco oggi preparerò una ricetta assai deliziosa ma molto facile che sono i nutellotti. Per i nutellotti abbiamo bisogno di 180 g di nutella, 135 g di farina 00, un uovo intero, per guarnire palline a copalette, per giocare anche granelle, godette, quel che volete, e 25 g di nutella. E adesso partiamo con la preparazione. Dopo aver messo la nostra nutella in una ciotola e dopo che il camera me ne si è pulito il cucchiaio. Adesso prendiamo la nostra carissima frusta e incorporiamo l'uovo alla nutella. Facciamo questo procedimento per circa due minuti fino a che l'uovo non sarà eh, incorporato con la nutella. Dopo aver amalgamato l'uovo con la nutella abbiamo messo le, il composto nel frigo a riposare. Intanto mi sono preso 135 g di farina che uniremo al composto. Dopo aver ottenuto un composto del genere, prendiamo una teglia con carta da forno, prendiamo all'incirca 15 g di composto e facciamo una valuta. Poggiamola sulla carta da forno 
e schiacciamo leggermente al centro. Dopo aver fatto le palline e aver fatto il buco al centro, ci ritroveremo con una cosa del genere. Adesso mettiamo il composto in un forno preriscaldato a 180 gradi per 10 minuti. Adesso è l'ora della farcitura di vitellotto. Prendiamo un vitellotto, prendiamo un vitellotto e mettiamo in la vitella. E poi mettiamo dei, delle palline. Il risultato dovrebbe essere molto simile a questo. E adesso è il momento della sala. No, non lo stesso. Uh, well, if only Letizia could hand me one of those Nutelletti through the video, just like we were handing badges and phones earlier, that'd be amazing. <laughs> uh, Jordan sings us We Are the World and encourages us to stay home. Let's check out his talents. We are the world, we are the children, we are the ones who make it better day, so let's start giving, they're the choice we make, we saving our lives, it's true we make it better day, just you and me. Wow, now, now Rami from Lebanon will they claim a poem in Arabic. Rami Mkhaiber, from Lebanon, the Jamaat Kishif, the Qadumi, 13 years ago, a story about Palestine. I went until the end of the day. I went until the end of the day. ركعت حتى ملني الركوع سألت عن محمد فيك وعن يسوع يا قدس يا مدينة تفوح أنبياء يا أقصر الدروب بين الأرض والسماء يا قدس يا مدينة الشرائح يا طفلة صغيرة محروقة الأصابع حزينة عيناك يا مدينة البتول يا واحة ظليلة مر بها الرسول حزينة حزينة حجارة الشوارع حزينة مآذن الجوام Don't forget guys to comment in the section uh, which one is the favorite, your favorite one? Because at the end of the show, we will play it again. So keep voting. And now we welcome our special guest, Silish Patnak, program coordinator for education at the Wikimedia Foundation. He will explain to us who is behind Wikipedia. Aren't you curious to know how articles are written and who writes them? Let's welcome our special guest. Uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting me. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, so. Uh, hi again. Uh, my name is Salish Patnaik. I am based in India. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a veteran scout, actually. I was, I was a scout in school. And uh, I, I work as a program coordinator for the education team at Wikimedia Foundation. And I'm a Wikipedian myself. So someone can be Wikipedian if they edit on Wikipedia or its sister projects. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a huge movement. I did, it is as exciting as the scout. Uh, so it actually like whenever you come, whenever you search anything on the internet, you you land on Wikipedia. You read articles uh, on Wikipedia in there. And I, I was actually I planned for our slides, and I was going to show us like uh, an article for BTS. And every day, like eight thousand people read an article, read the English Wikipedia article of BTS. And uh, it's like uh, when, when you go to when you click on the view history button, it's just above the article. You can see all the people who have contributed their bit to that article. And sometimes you see there are some additions. Sometimes you see there are some like negative numbers, like some people are deleting uh, some from that article. But, but why? Are, aren't we supposed to like uh, 
edit articles, like add information, but there are also people who like uh, delete some part because they are misinformation. They are monitoring the Wikipedia articles so that we won't read misinformation on uh, Wikipedia. There are like uh, there are like different uh, there are like different roles on uh, Wikipedia, and uh, they like each of them they follow like the five pillars of Wikipedia. Which is kind of this, which is which is kind of a scout law, uh, like the way we 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 follow our uh, principles and things. So, like all the Wikipedia volunteers, the Wikipedia should be like uh, an encyclopedic. Like all the articles we are writing on Wikipedia should be encyclopedic. Uh, they should have neutral point of view. But the fun fact is that Wikipedia doesn't have any hard bound rule. Like oh. the rules can be changed with the help of community. So. Yeah, that's cool, right? And uh, so there are like different people involved in a Wikipedia article. There are editors, uh, page reviewers, rollbackers, admins, and committees on uh, on every Wikipedia project. Uh, so like us, we are the readers. We read uh, the Wikipedia article. There are editors who, who like to uh, edit Wikipedia articles. Like all the Wikipedia articles you see are edited by hundred and thousands of volunteers worldwide again it's so similar to scouts like there are people from india there are people from mexico us sweden everywhere uh writing wikipedia articles and uh which is why i see so like uh, similarity between both the projects and uh the role of an editor is like they edit uh, wikipedia articles like they add uh, new information they create a new article or sometimes they find there is some vandalism the sub they just uh, delete that and uh, there are some other roles like a rollbacker so for example if i go to the uh -huh. bts article and write oh bts is a very bad band so there are people who can <laughs> delete those uh, points from that article oh. and can I ask, mm -hmm. how do how do you become one of the roles? Uh, is it just someone? Do you just do it? Do you uh, do you get appointed to that? What's the how, how do you, how do you end up contributing? Uh, it's like a long journey. Like everything, like it has a process. Yeah. So you start in in the beginning. You start as an editor, uh, and the the best option is that the, the magic button on the uh, on above the Wikipedia article. Click on the edit button and you become an editor of Wikipedia. Don't vandalize it. There are people monitoring <laughs> it. Yeah, and throughout the process, you get different roles as you start contributing more and more to Wikipedia. For example, in my story, I started I started as a volunteer at the age of fifteen uh, to Wikimedia projects. So, so, and later on, I had different roles and hats in the movement. Now I work for the organization. That uh, supports Wikipedia, hosts Wikipedia and its sister project. So there, there are many opportunities in, in Wikipedia. Cool. So, so you mentioned before that you you also used to be a scout. Uh, how yeah. do you think scouting has helped you to be where you are right now, like in Wikipedia? Because you were also mentioning that uh, we have similar uh, like laws and um, principles. So how do you think it has helped you? Uh, I, I would say being a scout, uh, the community work that I learned being a scout has helped me a lot on the Wikimedia uh, movement because it's a community itself you work with. So that's what I learned as being a scout in, a, in, in my early days. And uh, the, the collaboration skills you learn as a scout, the community skills you learn as a scout, they help you a lot. In such a project, in such a global project that well, I'm working with in on Wikipedia, that's cool. Awesome. So, so Salish, I feel like I need to ask: uh, <laughs> Do you have a favorite Wikipedia article? I have a favorite Wikipedia article, and the article is the list of the list of the list of the list. And what is that? <laughs> what is that? Like a list of everything? Yeah, it has the list of the list of the list of the list. <laughs> got, it, got it. How long yeah. is that? <laughs> it's just a, it's a super long article. Like I I I kind of find it's it's really funny. Like uh, you start reading this one article, maybe related to let's say uh, World War Two or something, and you end up seeing how, why McDonald's started in this uh, year. 
it's like a yeah, rabbit yeah, hole once you fall into that you will just like keep reading articles this like yeah. binge reading articles every time yeah. <laughs> isn't there a wikipedia challenge where i give you one article to start one article to end and you have to try to <laughs> go through all the articles like <laughs> try to get there i'm not aware of that but maybe <laughs> that, that's a, that's a really cool idea yeah uh but but it's just a, it's a really good thing that i want to also highlight is that wikipedia is not just available in english uh wikipedia is available in 300 more languages yeah so you, you can read the bts article in 60 more languages yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh yeah. there there are like community members contributing in their own language so one thing you can do after this maybe look for wikipedia article in your own language and uh there is also a good game if you if you go to english wikipedia and type like the wikipedia adventure uh it can help you to learn how to edit on wikipedia through a, through an act through a, through a game kind of thing and like once you start playing it you will learn different like rules of wikipedia and you'll also get to edit wikipedia articles so it's a really cool project to work with Yeah that's cool. We should get that onto the next iteration of Jodi yeah. as one of the challenges yeah. I think that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's coming. Yeah, that's cool. I know. Yeah, for myself, I've I've even gotten to a place now with Wikipedia where, you know, I want to learn about a topic and I'll bookmark the Wikipedia page and some mm-hmm. of them are, you know, so sufficiently long where I'll back and sit yeah. in my room and just just read Wikipedia <laughs> like and such a good such a good process there. yeah yeah i i, I actually like uh, i actually like uh join wikipedia like in such a manner like i i was i was i was giving my, like i had finished my exams and i was reading an article on bangladesh liberation war yeah. and and i accidentally saw that uh, there's my language on wikipedia i was like what i like all through years i was just reading wikipedia in english <laughs> and this is the first time i'm seeing odia language on wikipedia and i then i got to know that you can edit wikipedia i started editing on wikipedia so that's cool yeah yeah how do you guys manage uh, to have the information in so many languages like i speak spanish and mm-hmm. if i want to edit like a page in spanish then how how is there a team that is in charge of translating everything and like keeping spelling perfect or how mm-hmm. this is like managed as i said there are a lot of people monitoring wikipedia <laughs> so there's like huge community uh, and you know like the spanish speaking community is is very strong in europe as as well as in latin america yeah. so there there are a lot of people contributing to those projects and they are adding the information from from their countries and everything uh, and yes there's a strong community in all those countries like uh, monitoring wikipedia articles some of them actually helping you if you're a new newbie or new editor who starts contributing to wikipedia they help you guide you through how you can better support those languages so yep if you want to start there are community members to help you as well and there is spanish language wikipedia <laughs> and I, i know that um now there's certainly not you know physical meetups but are there are there uh in person meetings for these communities um to talk through edits yeah or... yeah so uh wikipedia hosts a, a lot of annual conferences uh one of them is wikimania uh which is a physical conference for like uh, uh volunteers and other uh, staffs uh, or other people who contributes to wikimedia and st- other stakeholders uh this year we were supposed to be in bangkok and Uh, uh, sadly because of the uh, covid-19 it couldn't happen yeah. and there are some regional meetings as well by different volunteers they do some regional meetings for themselves yeah also maybe it's like our jamboree <laughs> yeah <laughs> see yeah. there's so many things connecting to wikimedia and the uh, scout right yeah, yeah, yeah maybe maybe a fun challenge to try at home would be to go from the wikipedia <laughs> wikipedia page and try to get to scout it through links So I don't exactly. know, maybe from that yeah. to internet, maybe from internet to Jodi or something, I don't know. And then eventually get yourself Indeed. together. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Salish, well, thank you very much uh, for your time. I don't know if you have a final message that you would like to share with everyone here online. Uh, indeed. Uh, am I there? All right. That is yeah, you're okay. You're okay. okay cool. Sure. Yeah, yeah, so sure. I would be happy to see you, like, even if you couldn't edit on Wikipedia, you can still explore a lot of Play, uh, like places that, as I mentioned, you can see the five pillars of Wikipedia, how it functions, and you can also relate it to how Scout and Wikipedia both function. And you can take the Wikipedia adventure game and learn how to edit on Wikipedia, or just take the, so because of the COVID-19 and how the schools are being affected during this time, uh, my team is running EduWiki challenges uh, uh, on social media. So you can follow the hashtag EduWiki and see what challenges out we are putting in and and it's they are very simple you can just go through it and take some challenges and get back to us so yes uh hope, hope to hope to see like hope you will all uh, see the all these things on wikipedia and uh, let us know how it is and thanks thanks again for giving me the opportunity to uh, speak here thank you so much Alish. it was very interesting to hear from you and we're looking forward to have a challenge in Wikipedia next time. Indeed. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sally. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Uh, I, you know, you don't really get a lot of opportunities to see uh, how Wikipedia is made behind the scenes, but I mean, it's such a crazy, such a crazy process. So uh, we're going to jump right back into our Youth Got Talent page after taking a detour through Wikipedia. Uh, now we're going to go to Jesus from Colombia, who will sing us a song showing also some awesome photos of his scouting group. Hola, ¿qué tal a todos? ¿Cómo están? La verdad es de todo corazón, espero que estén muy bien. Mi nombre es Jesús David Mantilla, hago parte del grupo 24 Soul du Soleil, de más específico del clan Sol Fénix, y pues nada, esta es mi participación para ustedes. Espero que la disfruten. Sé que hay en tus ojos con solo mirar Que estás cansado de andar y de andar Y camina girando siempre en un lugar. Sé que las ventanas se pueden abrir. Cambiar el aire depende de ti. Te ayudará. Vale la pena una vez más saber que se puede. Querer que se pueda Quitarse los miedos Sacarlos afuera Pintarse la cara Con una esperanza Tentar al futuro Con el corazón Es mejor perderse Que nunca embarcar Mejor tentar hacia dejar de intentar, aunque ya ves que no es tan fácil empezar. Sé que lo imposible se puede lograr, que la tristeza algún día se irá, y así será. La vida cambia y cambia. Sentirás que el alma vuela por cantar una vez más Saber que se puede, querer que se pueda Quitarse los miedos, sacarlos afuera Pintarse la cara con la esperanza Tentar al futuro Con el corazón saber que se puede, querer que se pueda, pintarse los miedos, sacarlos afuera, pintarse la cara con la esperanza, tentar al futuro. 
con el corazón Vale más poder brillar que solo buscar Ver el sol Are you ready to draw? Natalia from Bolivia will show us how to bake a brownie. Mm. Hola chicos, soy Natalia y hoy les voy a enseñar a hacer brownies. Lo que vamos a necesitar es 130 gramos de harina, 240 gramos de mantequilla, 300 gramos de azúcar, 30 mililitros de aceite de girasol, 4 huevos, 100 gramos de cacao en polvo, una cucharadita de sal fina y una cucharadita de esencia de vainilla. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es derretir los 240 gramos de mantequilla. Ahora le vamos a añadir los 300 gramos de azúcar. Y ahora lo mezclamos con ayuda de un batidor de varillas, si es manual mejor. Y una vez que esté bien mezclado le vamos a añadir los 4 huevos a temperatura ambiente y una cucharadita de esencia de vainilla. Lo mezclamos muy bien y una vez que tenemos la mezcla húmeda lista vamos a añadirle los ingredientes secos. Con la ayuda de un colador vamos a tamizar los 130 gramos de harina. Y ahora los 100 gramos de cacao y una cucharadita de sal. Y ahora vamos a integrar los ingredientes secos. Es muy importante batir manual y lentamente. Ya que tenemos lista nuestra mezcla, vamos a engrasar y harinar nuestro molde para que no se nos pegue. Yo lo engrasé con mantequilla, pero otra opción puede ser el aceite. Luego de que ya lo tenemos engrasado, vamos a echar harina. Y ahora vamos a poner la mezcla en el molde. Y ahora lo vamos a meter al horno a 175 grados por 30 minutos. Y ahora nuestro brownie está listo. Oh, I was already drooling and then they did that cut at the end. It just make me really hungry now. Uh, before we jump to the next one, just in case anyone's wondering why Gresha and I are sitting in this, we're doing the epic blanket tent challenge, which we encourage you to do at home too, which is to build an epic blanket tent, take a photo and uh, put it on put it on Facebook and tag, uh, put the hashtag. Gresha's is uh, decidedly more epic than mine, but uh, you know, mine's pretty comfortable too. <laughs> uh, so next we have El Taif, who sings in an acapella song in Arabic. La 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 ففي كتاب المقام وطاب إنشادي ففي كتاب المقام وطاب إنشادي أحببت فيك السهر وبهجة النادي أحببت ضوء القمر والكوكب الهادي والليل لما تكر والنهر والوادي والفجر لما انتشر في أرض أجدادي عليك من السلام يا أرض أجدادي ففي كتاب المقام وطاب إنشادي أهوى عيون العسل أهوى سواقيها أهوى ثلوج الجبل 
ذابت لآلها هذه مجال الأمل سبحان مجريها سالت كدم المقل في أرض أجدادي عليك مني السلام يا أرض أجدادي ففيك طاب المقام وطاب إنشادي ففيك طاب المقام وطاب إنشادي ففيك طاب المقام وطاب إنشادي Wow, that was super cool. Now, Indraxi from India will show us her talent through yoga. Namaste. Hi, I'm Swati Manna. I'm 16 years old. I'm from India. Today, I want to show my talent through yoga. It will protect coronavirus, so let's go. Well, I know I have no chance of being able to do any of that, but there are yoga sessions during uh, the rest of Jodi too, that you guys can join in from home. Carson is from the US and she composed a song that she will sing and play for us on her ukulele. My name is Carson Poole. I'm 17 years old. I live in Utah in the United States, and I will be singing a song I wrote on my ukulele called Dreams of Yesterday. The deep blue 
between us a sky full of stars a dream that is waiting that's where we are a memory for a lifetime that you get to see man how i wish you were here next to me a Apart, but here we are together inside of our hearts. An ocean of memories waiting to be found. Man, how I wish that you were around. A little bit of hope can take me away into the dreams and songs of yesterday. All this singing makes me hungry again. Thanks God, Ivani is one of our master chefs. She will show you how to bake pancakes. She's doing it in Spanish, but try to follow her image. Images. Hola, soy Ivana Casini de Argentina. Tengo 18 años. Y hoy voy a enseñarles a hacer panqueques. Espero que les gusten y que los hagan y que los disfruten y quédense en sus casas. Ingredientes 320 gramos de harina 30 gramos de manteca Medio litro de leche 30 gramos de azúcar 2 huevos 2 cucharadas o un chorrito de esencia de vainilla Preparación Mezclar los huevos la idea es solamente mezclarlos, no batirlos, ya que no queremos darle aire. Simplemente queremos hacer que la yema y la clara se mezclen. Integrar la mitad de la harina. La idea es ir poniendo los ingredientes a poquito, para que la mezcla de repente no se haga una piedra y sea más complicado mezclarla. Entonces hay que tener paciencia y mezclar de a poquito, ir agregando los ingredientes a poquito. Agregar la mitad de la leche. Incorporar la manteca derretida. Y seguimos mezclando. No se ve muy rico, ¿no? Se ve bueno. Por ahora. Y ahora agregamos lo que nos queda de harina. Agregamos el azúcar. Ponemos lo que nos quedó de leche. Y seguimos mezclando. Y por último agregamos la esencia de vainilla. 
Como pueden ver que hay una mezcla llena de grumos, lo que yo voy a hacer es pasar la otro bowl y colarla para poder aplastar con una espátula todos esos grumos que se formaron y tener una mezcla que quede limpia y uniforme. Una mezcla libre de grumos. Dejamos reposar la mezcla en la heladera por 30 minutos. Momento de cocinar. Encendemos el fuego al mínimo y ponemos a calentar una sartén finita con unos segundos. Si sos menor, pedir ayuda a algún mayor para que no te quemes y no en algún accidente. Y para empezar a cocinar los panqueques, metemos un poco de la mezcla en la sartén y empezamos a tirarla de manera lenta para que cubra toda la superficie. La idea es seguir girando la sartén hasta que toda la mezcla quede bien distribuida por toda la superficie. La idea es que todo el panqueque quede bien cocido. Vamos a ir después a los bordes para ver si ya está cocido del lado de abajo. La idea es que se doren solamente un poquito los bordes. Aproximadamente son dos minutos por lado, dependiendo del fuego que tenga. Y acá hay dos opciones. La primera es darlo vuelta con una espátula. Las primeras veces puede ser que se te caiga o que se te rompa, pero después vas mejorando la técnica. O también tenemos el modo Masterchef, en el que tenemos que y llevar bien al borde del panqueque y darlo vuelta rápido y puede que se te caiga la primera vez pero bueno dejamos el panqueque en un plato y tenemos que repetir el mismo proceso todas las veces con todos los panqueques que te quedan Miren cómo van quedando. Resultado final. ¿Y con qué lo comemos? En Argentina la mayoría los comemos con dulce de leche. Ya sea el clásico o repostero. Algunos lo comen con azúcar. Otros le ponen limón y azúcar. También puedes comerlo solo si quieres. La idea acá es sacar ahora tu imaginación y ponerle lo que quieras. Puedes optar por no ponerle azúcar a la mezcla y ponerle un relleno salado como los camelones. Y para terminar, los enrollamos y nos lo comemos. Resultado final. Y acá un poquito del ingenio que me dejó Scout. Como no tengo ningún tipo de cámara, ni trípode, agarré los broches, una lata con hilos encerados y me puse a filmar. Muchas gracias por verme. Quédate en tu casa. That's cool. I really appreciate that behind the scenes videos there. Next up, we have a video parody made in parts from the homes of the members of the South African group. <laughs> rocking, rocking and rolling down to the beach. I'm strolling, but the seagulls poking my head. Not fun. I said seagulls, 
<clears throat> Stop it now. She's from the UK and she loves to play drums. Let's hear. Hey, my name is Eva Maltby. I'm from the UK and I'm 13. I'm part of the first Bowden Scout group in Leicestershire. I'm going to play Sipstream, my drum exam piece, which fortunately I didn't get to do because of the crane virus. Slipstream. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, she rocks. Uh, we've been discovering a lot of piano prodigies. Let's take a look to the Pina Scouting Club from Turkey.
evde kalalım, yaşlarımızı koruyalım. Now, last but not least, Laura sings and plays her ukulele. Our last special guest of today was with us at the World Scout Jamboree last July in North America, where Gresha and I are from. If you were there, you might remember something like this. <laughs> uh, we were lucky enough there to meet our envoy, the envoy of all young people around the world. Let's all cheer up at home for our next guest, Jayatma Vikramanayake, the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. 
Hello everyone. Hi. How are, how is everyone doing? So excited to be in yet another jamboree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Yayatma. So you are the UN Youth Envoy. What does that really mean? So that means that um, how can I say uh, that I advise the UN Secretary General on matters that affect young people, issues that affect young people, how the United Nations should respond um, and take action to empower young people all around the world. I also represent the United Nations Secretary General um, Antonio Guterres in meetings, events, conferences, and important discussions that are affecting youth policies and programs all around the world. So if you think of the United Nations as a government and as the secretary general as its president or prime minister you can think of me as his minister for youth ah excellent got it and i think this is a important question to ask uh in this time but how are you personally doing uh and what it, what what is it like to be a un official working from what looks like your home Well, thank you so much. I think that is a question that all of us should be asking everyone uh, these days, given the circumstances that we are all in, you know, checking on each other. How are we doing? Um, for me, um, I have to say um, this is my third week of working from home um, and in um, social distancing and, and isolation. Um, it was very hard for me in the first week because a lot had to be adjusted. Um, we are very used to, you know, working in the office um, with our teams, using the tools that we have in the offices. So to overnight change that to working from home was uh, was a big adjustment. Um, so the first week was very busy. It also included cancelling a lot of the things that we had planned previously. So emotionally also, it was very, you know, disappointing. Pointing, frustrating, sad. So the first week was full of, you know, it was busy, it was full of emotions. But now that it's the third week, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a, um, you know, I'm getting adapted to it and I have a routine and I'm uh, working with my team also on a routine. And uh, I feel like we've got the hang of it now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we always talk that our generation is one of the most connected. Um, we, are one of the generations that have access to information, knowledge, and services in general than ever before. Uh, that means, like, in times like these, we are probably feeling more isolated than ever before. It, and it's right now, it's really tough. But is there a silver, silver line, like, in this moment? Is this a moment for us to relax and focus on ourselves and our loved ones? Or is it a moment for other things? I think it's it really depends on who you are, where you come from, what your background is and what you're doing, right? Um, I think for a lot of us, it has been, um, as you said, a time for self-reflection. For me personally, um, there are three things that I have learned, at least in the past three weeks, uh, about myself, about um, what's happening around me, and most importantly, about what's more important to me in life. You know, The first thing is um, the kind of solidarity we need. Uh, among people, so among individuals, but also among communities and among countries. Um, it's not going to be okay if one country defeats coronavirus, right? Because we are so interlinked and so interconnected. As long as even one country in the world is affected by it, no one is going to be safe. So the importance of solidarity, everyone coming together, sharing information, sharing data, sharing um, experiences, what worked, what didn't work at a personal level, but also at a country level and at a global level is so important so for me solidarity has emerged as a very strong um, need um, around uh, around us and secondly um, the importance of taking care of the most vulnerable people you know we always talk about leaving no one behind and putting those who are left behind at the forefront but what does it really mean when this kind of disaster struck it's the older people it's the most vulnerable people it's the sick people it's the poor people it's people who do not have social security it's people who do not have a stable job or health insurance that are suffering from it the most. So in our day-to-day -day life, in our education, in our work, how much are we really putting those 
people in the forefront. And I think that's going to be a game changer for me, for the work that I do. And I hope it's the same for you guys as well. And third, um, it's about being kind, being kind to each other, but also being kind to our own selves and taking it slow and give us, giving us some breathing time and being kind on ourselves is the third thing that I've learned. And um, I'm sure a lot of us are going to come out of this very strong, but also very conscious about um, what our purpose of life is and what, what, means, what really means um, important to us. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. I think it's so similar to a lot of global issues where you need you know, the entire world to kind of act together rather than one country at a time uh, and, and protecting the most vulnerable group. Uh, I want to talk about something else that a lot of us might be vulnerable to in this time, um, but especially a lot of young people are facing more mental health issues now uh, than they may have uh, previously. What's your advice for young people who are feeling isolated or are having a hard time envisioning the, the end of all of this? Yeah, I mean, that's a really good point. Uh, just uh, last Wednesday, I hosted a public webinar on youth and mental health in the time of coronavirus. And we exceeded the capacity of our online meeting because so many young people, thousands of young people were interested in joining, about talking about what bothers them, but also learning from experts from WHO and UNICEF, what can they do in their personal capacity, but also um, in their families and communities to help people struggling with mental health. And um, I think uh, compared to before, mental health issues has come out very strongly as something that young people really do care about and are, is affecting their lives during this pandemic. Um, so my advice when I say, I, I think, you know, a lot of us are feeling these overwhelming emotions we are scared at some point sometimes we are confused sometimes we are angry um you know sometimes we are anxious we don't know what's happening and first is to be aware of those emotions try to understand what am i exactly feeling right now and try to make sense of why you're feeling that way and secondly to know and to calm yourself down by saying it is okay not to feel okay during a time like this you know we have to as i said be kind on ourselves to know that it's okay to feel upset or anxious or sad or angry during a global crisis like this and thirdly um, if you are continuously feeling like that you need to talk to someone you need to talk to somebody you trust it could be your parents it could be your siblings it could uh, be your friends you know you have to talk to somebody you trust but also if you don't have anyone you trust if you feel like your parents are not understanding, your friends are not understanding. Um, a lot of governments, NGOs around the world also have helplines and a lot of resources available for people to anonymously talk, anonymously get those information, you know, from websites or from phone calls. So if you are um, really feeling depressed or conscious, continuously feel anxious, but don't have anyone to talk about, um, just look for those numbers, look for those websites and resources, reliable resources and reach out. Um, and I think these are my key advice to anyone who is feeling lonely and anxious and frustrated um, during this time. Yeah, thank you so much. What are your personal mental health tips or routines that you, that you think people should follow? Like, what could you advise on that? So this is uh, these are things that I tried in the last three weeks and, and worked for me. So I'm not an expert. So I'll, I'll share with you what worked for me. So first of all, um, first week, as I said, was very overwhelming because I kept reading everything on social media. I kept watching news. I wanted to, you know, get ahead of what's happening um, around the world. And quite honestly, at the rate this is happening and at the scale this is happening, it's not possible. So we need to give ourselves a break and make sure that we absorb that information. We use social media. We watch news during specific times of the day. I usually do twice, a beginning of the day and the end of the day. I check news twice just for me to stay updated and look at the facts. So not watching social media and news throughout the day continuously really helped me feel more calm, but also more focused throughout the day. Uh, secondly, uh, the, the first few days, because I knew I was working from home, I slept very late. 
and mm-hmm. you know i thought okay i'm home i don't have to go to office so let me like go to bed at 2 or 3 in the morning and it doesn't work you feel really tired the next day so you need to go to bed and wake up at the same time like make yourself a routine make sure you eat healthy food like the first week me and my husband we finished all the chocolates we had at home <laughs> that's not good don't do that um make sure you eat healthy because your physical health what you eat if you exercise meditate that is also going to affect your mental health you know so um try to be as healthy as possible and as active as possible most importantly at least check in on your family or and friends once a day and that is really how i try to say, stay uh, sane and take care of my mental health during these times yeah awesome. yeah those are those are great tips yeah, um we we always say that young people have a huge role to play in championing the development of their communities and standing up for issues they care about. Uh what's the role for young people to play in this time of the crisis? I think first of all it's important to understand that this virus does not distinguish based on your age or based on your um you know race or ethnicity or where you come from so in the beginning there were some myths uh, that young people are not you know going to be affected and young people are immune uh, but now research and data has shown us young people are not uh, immune and they are as vulnerable as anybody else so first is taking care of yourself making sure that you wash your hands you're you're taking uh, the precautions that are um a, put out there by WHO and the health authorities and taking care of yourself that is important and secondly there are so many opportunities um online to volunteer um and to help people who are in need even it's your family or friends people who might be living with um living in the same community as you so while staying safe trying to help people who are in need can help both the person you're helping and also yourself because you get a very strong sense of satisfaction and and a purpose um of your day to day life when you help others so that is very important um to taking care of yourself social distancing making sure you adhere to the guidelines and then trying to look for ways to support um other people um and lastly i think we have to come together as a generation to advocate for mental health right now there is a lot of advocacy going on in terms of investing in universal health coverage make sure that health is accessible for everyone uh, we have to put mental health there as well all interventions funding resources infrastructure that goes into physical health should also dedicate resources for mental health both for our healthcare workers our doctors nurses essential workers frontline responders who are going through extreme stress levels right now but also as you said for young people who are missing out on their education young people who are missing out on their graduations their first job um and and a lot of important milestones in life uh, so it's important that we put mental health and physical health hand in hand and at the same level and i expect all of you to make some noise about that on social media media with your government with your politicians and make sure that it stays high up on the agenda exactly perfect yeah yeah ma so as a final message what would you say to young people to encourage them in in terms of keep supporting their communities during these complicated and challenging times um i mean i would say keep doing what you are doing um i know that the scouts are a great community who are coming together i read amazing things about the scouts in switzerland the scouts in italy the scouts in haiti who are doing things uh, from you know distributing sanitizer to running hand washing campaigns to uh, getting groceries and medicines delivered to um people who need them uh, so keep doing what you are doing you are not only helping yourself and your communities but are also giving a lot of of hope and encouragement to other young people around the world to do the same and the moment we come out of this crisis it's going to be in the hands of our generation to rebuild the economy to rebuild the social fabric to rebuild the political system so read up a lot get yourself educated and be ready for the challenge by the time we are all coming out of this Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. It was really interesting and I I feel that everyone is going to be very excited about what you just said. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you. You guys were great.
Oh my God. Oh my, it was super nice what we just learned from Yayadma. And now the moment we were waiting for. Our wall of change of gratitude. Let's see how many hearts we can give to all of those who are taking care of us during these challenging times. If you haven't shown your gratitude yet, it's time to pose now. What are we waiting for? We will do this, we will do ours very soon. After the show, be sure to check out some of the upcoming campfires happening today and add them to your calendar. For example, the Digital Citizenship Gen is offering campfires and crowdfunding for scouts and design thinking for social media. Health and Wellbeing Oasis is offering campfires on how to keep your pet safe during these challenging times. Basics of zero waste, a ballet initiation, and even some dialogues cafes. Humanitarian Hub is offering campfires on supporting the community from home and what can scouts do during the pandemic. And also you can participate in the playground of the scouting from home area. Don't forget to check out our campsites where you can find much more sessions and fun activities to get um, together at home. Now, the time we've just been waiting for, the video that has been most voted. My name is Carson Poole. I'm 17 years old. I live in Utah in the United States, and I will be singing a song I wrote on my ukulele called Dreams of Yesterday. The deep blue between us, a sky full of stars, a dream that is waiting, that's where we are. A memory for a lifetime that you get to see. Man, how I wish you Great to hear the last, uh, the, the winning video there. Uh, we just received not happy, but amazing news. Remember the happy news we gave you in the beginning of the show related with the fund that World, Scout, uh, World Scouting launched, where you can be part of a global youth response against COVID-19? By the beginning of this show, we had 10,435 USD, which was an extraordinary amount. And now it's an even more unbelievable 15,435. So just in the time of the show, it's incredible. Amazing. Guys, don't forget to check out our campsite where you can find more sessions and information during this whole show. 
Thank you so much for watching us. It's been amazing. We are enjoying a lot this ride and we hope to see you soon. Keep tuned because in the next hours, the next show is coming. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Adios. Bye, everyone.